You know, a couple of days ago, I considered making a video about the New York Giants keeping Daniel Jones, and they will do that. And basically, not drafting a quarterback at all until the mid-rounds, late rounds, and getting a developmental guy, and basically running it back with Daniel Jones for another season. But Rich Eisen has a new report about the Giants not feeling that way, and instead feeling quite the opposite. Let's get into it. What's going on, New York Giant fans? Welcome back to another video. Hit the like button, comment, and subscribe. Turn on post notifications so you know when a live stream pops for video drops. Appreciate y'all coming back. Appreciate y'all coming back. Share this out. Do all the good stuff. We're almost at 1.9k subs at the time of this recording, so please hit the like button, subscribe. We have a big live stream this weekend with Christy Entertainer, Big Dash Nose, and Diggy546 talking about the Giants offseason and a lot of this other stuff. So, for the last few weeks few months us giant fans twitter content creators and even outside people have been debating amongst each other what's the best path for the new york giants and really what they'll do right you know they were at a couple of the games for drake may caleb williams and those two pretty much seem out of reach and you know there's two things that kind of go into the decision of hey will the giants draft a quarterback is it Number one, where they have one more year of Daniel Jones, they're going to run it back with him. They think, okay, you know, it was just a bad year, the team was bad, whatever. Or is it, hey, we won too many games, and we're not in a position to draft a quarterback, and we don't want to reach on one, so what we're going to do is we're going to just build the team around Daniel Jones and hope for the best, and then maybe bring in a vet or draft a QB the following year. Well, Rich Eisen said this on his show. In terms of like what he heard at the NFL Combine, rumors to be exact. Let's take a listen. Number three of my top five rumors I heard at the Combine is the Giants are absolutely done with Daniel Jones. <laughs> wow. Done. Wow. Absolutely done. Done. Might have to play Whoa. him this year, Whoa. but that ain't it. And they feel that ain't it. The wow. words I heard at the Combine multiple times, two words were buyer's remorse. So, you heard what he said. Now, here are the obvious scenarios where the Giants would take a quarterback. Because, again, they are, quote-unquote, completely done with Daniel Jones. Number one, they could trade up for a quarterback. Now, these are not in-order scenarios, but the last one is the last scenario. Trade up for a quarterback, right? There's been rumblings within the last few weeks. Connor Hughes, all these different guys saying Joe Shane is the type of general manager that would go up and trade for a quarterback. After all, he was in Buffalo when Josh Allen was picked by the Bills and they traded up for him and all that good stuff. So they could trade up for a quarterback. And I would say the top three teams are definitely going to take a quarterback, possibly. You know, they're definitely in the mix. But there's always that one team that tries to fuck up the draft order with some pick that we didn't think was going to happen you know the commanders they need a left tackle now so they could select joe alter too if they wanted to but they could also select quarterback number three both tackles for the new england patriots both those guys are free agents they do have a lot of cap money but they're both free agents so could new england under Gerard mayo say hey listen we're gonna go draft joe alt or they, could, they, could they go out and say, hey, listen, you know what? We'll fix left tackle free agency, retain some guys, and we're going to pick Drake May, Jane Daniels, whoever. And you could pick with the Cardinals, or I should say you, should tr you could trade with the Cardinals in the scenario that one of those two teams, either two or three, say, hey, we're going to stick to our pick, but we're going to pick a player not named, or at least not at the position of quarterback. And then Arizona would be there and say, hey, listen, Arizona, we could add to your... Uh, pick repertoire and go up and we're going to try to get a quarterback and you guys could go down two spots and again add to the picks that you already have because they have the most picks in the NFL draft so that's number one number two you could sit at six and hope a quarterback falls now this is a very risky scenario in its own light but also conservative at the same time because you're not giving up picks but you're hoping a quarterback falls and you're also hoping that a team does not jump you for a quarterback again all those scenarios that I talked about in the last part could also happen here. One of those three teams may not take a quarterback. There could be someone jumping. There could be somebody falling. There 
could be three quarterbacks in the first three picks. So sitting, sitting at six could be a very risky move in terms of the face of this franchise and the future of this franchise as far as the next quarterback goes. Number three is take one in the second round or trade back up. The Giants could possibly take a guy like Malik Neighbors, Romeo Dunze, or Brock Bowers and say, hey, listen, we're going to just go out and get a weapon. But they could also do what Dave Gettleman did a few years ago and trade back up in the first round. Now, of course, it's not for a cornerback. It would be for a quarterback. Guys I see being in that realm, J.J. McCarthy, Michael Penix, and Bo Nix, no Spencer Rattler, and Michael Pratt, that's later round stuff, and Daniels May, and uh, Caleb Williams would already be gone. So the Giants would have that to do, again, mortgaging some picks for the future, but getting their guy nonetheless. In a similar scenario to trading up for a quarterback, if you were already in the top six, and also as well, the Giants could trade down to let's say from six, no quarterback of their liking is there, trade down to a team like the Jets because they want Joe Walt, or trade down to a team in the teens, and then they sit there, they get J.J. McCarthy, Bo Nix, not a fan of him, or Michael Penix and say, hey, listen, that's our quarterback for the future. We traded down and we still got our quarterback and picks for next year and all these sort of you know different things. So that could be another one. And then the last one would be take a fourth round or developmental guy and hope that he's the future. Uh, this would be a very risky scenario and also would probably put Joe Shane and Brian Dable's asses closer to the fire because you're relying on a developmental piece. And Daniel Jones would most certainly be the starter for the entire season because if you got you get a guy like Michael Pratt or Spencer Rattler. Now, Rattler, I think, is the highest ceiling out of some of these guys coming out in the – third fourth fifth sixth round you also got joe milton who needs a lot of uh brushing up on in terms of technique you know those guys are not going to start year one for you so again in that scenario if you wanted one of those guys to replace daniel jones what you would have to do is develop them but daniel jones would start the entire season anyway so you'd have to go for a playoff run but those are four scenarios trade up for a quarterback sit at six trade down or tr take one in the second round trade back up two and uh, take a fourth round or just a developmental quarterback in general. But the Giants are done with Daniel Jones, as per the rumors via Rich Eisen. I think they are too, not to the aggressive extent that they think, meaning, you know, Rich Eisen and his crew, but I think the Giants are done with Daniel Jones, at least as far as the future and thinking he's the guy that will lead them to a Super Bowl. Like, comment, subscribe, do all the good stuff. Turn on post notifications so you know when the live stream pops or drops. Appreciate y'all coming back. Peace out, guys. See you later. Stay cool.